All right, everyone, welcome back to the Moto Anami. We made it to the Honda meet. Wait a minute. There's no one here. I'm kidding. The event takes place on the other side. I came to drop off Jackie here, or Rosie, um, getting all my stuff together. Had to stop at McDonald's. Fun fact, I'm not a huge McDonald's guy, but I didn't have any coffee this morning. So um, yeah, so it's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna do a walk around video. I'm gonna try to get as many cars as possible. If I don't get yours, don't take it personal. Um, I just, I don't know. I talked to a lot of people and I didn't have time. Um, but I'm also here really early. Uh, the actual meet starts at 11, it's 7.36, because I'm gonna get some rolling videos of some of you guys coming in. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. But uh, yeah, a lot of Civics, a lot of Integras, the usual. <laughs> uh, nah, it should be a fun time. Um, a lot of people are coming out of town and um, yeah, can't wait to see what, uh, what we see today. Catch you guys there. All right, so we made it. And the very first thing I want to do is have a little chat with my buddy Gabe from Rival Machine. If you guys remember, uh, Gabe, Daniel, have been working on a clothing brand, uh, but they've also been sponsoring a race car. Uh, S2000, obviously, we're going to do a little bit of a breakdown on, on the car and see, uh, hear some of the things that they've been working on. Um, the car is Time Attack, Global Time Attack, as you guys can see. And uh, Rival Machine is the sponsor. And so uh, we want to hear from Gabe just how the whole idea came about and then maybe we'll get the driver to kind of explain a little bit more on the detail um, things that are behind the scenes. But again, if you guys haven't had a chance, check out Rival Machine on Instagram, a clothing brand, and they host Carson Coffees and whatnot. So definitely appreciate it. Thank you, Gabe, for your time. And here's the man of the hour, Gabe. What's up, buddy? What up, what up? Thank you so much for making the time. Um, <laughs> So I want to get a little bit behind the scenes. Um, so, first of all, what is Rival Machine? And then how this partnership with this beautiful S2000 came about? So, Rival Machine is just like our online apparel that we do. Um, we also like host events. We hosted a couple cars of coffees, canyon runs. Um, but really, we've just done a lot of apparel. It's been a lot of fun. And um, made a couple products like our emblems, keychains, things like that. Uh, CNC horn buttons. And um, just recently, we hooked up with Jesse like about a year and a half ago and we started sponsoring him and he's doing a global time attack so this is his build an s2000 and really i chose to back him just because i think that the build and the things that he's going with on his car mm -hmm. really embodies like the ethos of like and the style of what we do and how we get things done i feel like if i were to actually build something like this mm -hmm. this is more than likely what it would be like um so yeah it's on jrz two-way adjustables it makes like uh, 690 horsepower, it's turbocharged, sequential uh, gearbox, dry sum. Um, yeah, I always guy can uh, sequential gearbox. There's a lot more mm -hmm. to it. That, I mean, obviously, like Jesse knows more of the, the technicalities of it. It's got AP Racing SX brakes on all four corners, aero done by RS Future. Um, and yeah, they're like, I think they're like 18 by 12s all the way around, or something like that. Um, pretty massive. And did you chose the S because your background is S2000 or yeah. it just kind of became about? I think that that was mainly the thing is that um, we chose it just because it's it's an S2000 and I, that's what I'm most familiar with. But then again, I mean, there's other cars we would have backed as well too as long as it was something that we felt like we could get behind, you know, I think. Gotcha. And um, yeah, I mean, that's the other thing too. I've had the S down, my own personal S down because um, I'm revamping it. We're actually going to track it more. And the plan is actually when we do attend events to attend events with both my street car and this full track car and for him to get seat time in both cars. Nice. So that's really the plan is to, you know, do the NA stuff, low powered stuff, just really get used to track on my car and then do all the serious stuff in his car. Are you on Rival? So yeah, make sure you check out Rival Machine. I won't take more time of you. I know you guys have to set up, but uh, thank you, Gabe. And keep up uh, the great work, man. Good luck to the team, man. All right, thanks. So like I mentioned, um, this S2000, the gentleman, the actual driver, this gentleman, I think his name is Kyle. I'm sorry if I butcher it. Um, they partnered up, I think now it's been a year or something like that. I can't remember when the exact time is, but as he mentioned, RS Future did some of the aerodynamics and that is um, this front splitter and things like that. Um, RS Future is run by our buddy Amir. Definitely recommend you guys checking out his channel, YouTube channel. And on top of that, he also has um, 
obviously his own company and, he, and he's the one with the K series uh, NSX turbo um, that I'm sure you guys have seen all over the place such places as sticky deal Joe's and things like that so as you guys can tell um, the car is super set up for um, the track time attack and it's just absolutely gorgeous man I, I think uh, the driver is talking to somebody else and um, Gabe really wanted the driver to be the one who kind of went over the car but I told him I, I want you babe. I want you <laughs> um, I just a small thank you for Rebel Machine for being super supportive on the channel for four years now so best of luck guys and keep kicking butt um, it's an amazing machine man all right guys that would be a good opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look on these spoon civics and honda fit um as you guys can see i'm trying to get it right before there's you know this is like the calm before the storm and so definitely just want to be able to get some quiet moments with the cars let me duck down as you guys can tell um love it with the products that they've been using the cars look amazing i'm in love with this honda fit man just this honda fit is super cool uh i would love to i'm so sorry dude i would love to just daily drive this it would be i wouldn't mind it and i'm glad i'm starting earlier just because then the music starts and i'm not gonna be able to hear myself so but yeah man it's absolutely gorgeous spoon everything spoon the world i love the gutted look i yeah that's exactly the way i would want my honda fit and then this is the iconic civic center seat um it's just amazing it's been going on for, it's been in for a bit and i know there's been a lot of coverage on it but i personally um i don't think i had seen it this close and so i'm super excited just to see it um i know the new fk 8s there and that one looks amazing in itself but I just think that this is for what the guys did um, for this specific car. I think they nailed it and I think they were ahead of their time, man. Not gonna lie. So uh, kudos to Spoons. And then as I leave my camera there, let me check out some of the other uh, the other Spoon build that they brought out, which is this beautiful S2000. Um, very, very unique car. Just how simple yet aggressive yeah not so simple it looks i don't know how to explain it if you know if i'm being honest but this is just gorgeous the spoon wheels and the tire setup that he has um it just goes so nicely um just i mean look at this i wouldn't even know what to call this uh i don't know i don't know what to call it but uh and just super cool i love the white nice white body on it so super cool one of the uh, one of the builds that I was looking forward to was the display that the Hatchport Performance was gonna bring. Um, I've been tuning into their VTEC session every single uh, week, and it's so cool to have them here and to see what they've been working. I love this the fact that they put audio into this beautiful uh, EF, and they're displaying it. I love how they're displaying everything, all the suspension pieces, um, very very clean, uh, just everything, brake setup. Um, this car has been fully restored and right hand drive I didn't even notice that so um, I mean this is this is it I mean it doesn't get any more pretty than this the rocking very nice set of wheels racing heart so I love I love the setup that they have it almost gives me low rider vibes you know what I mean uh, where they're fully taking the time to take off the wheels I'm surprised there's no mirrors under but I'm sure that there's a uh, you know very clean uh, undercarriage very very beautiful did my dad tell you about our trip out? Having to switch cars in Blythe and everything? Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, beautiful. We had to stop and so when we were in court site, we hit a big bump in the truck and the front end just started knocking back and forth in one stop until we came to a stop. And then... Catching up with the DA dudes, Raul, uh, with his beautiful bagged DA. As you guys can tell, he's gone. He's had, he has gone in like best paint at some other events. Um, very clean man the GoPro doesn't do justice but you guys can tell the reflection from the Sun this is his newest wheel and tire setup that he got it's beautiful it's just gorgeous it's always showing love so thank you Wow it's crazy because I see like the three different uh, shades of, of red. Um, man. We're on tire setup on this one. 
beautiful we interviewed him back in the day when he had a different set of wheels uh, beautiful car i mean don't change it just it's done it's great he's been driving a little bit more so super cool and this one i really like those wheels i'm not sure what they are i know you guys know right off the bat but i don't so very nice setup love the dashboard mat that's something you know a lot of people don't do as much anymore another da rolling by a great one let's check it out very nice so yeah i mean it's starting to get full over there it's getting hot Let's continue to, uh, to conduct our business and then uh, thank you Raul for the water. One of the anticipated bills that I was looking forward to is our buddy Brandon. As you guys remember, we went to visit up to the high desert. Hello, senor. Ah, the V is running. And I don't know in what condition she's running, but we'll check it out. The man of the hour. Hey, yeah. made it out, man. How you doing, bro? Doing fantastic, brother. Um, so, last time we checked up on you, it was in the driveway mm -hmm. and it was close to running. Yeah. You trailer here? No, we cover. <laughs> yeah, we cover loaded down. <laughs> Fully loaded family and everything. That's what the CRV is made for. Uh, has it been tuned? Um, kind of. It's okay. tuned right now. Uh, we're having an issue with VTEC and VTC, so it seems to be. Um, I just found out yesterday, I guess, that uh, K Series has three different um, rods that the, the rockers ride on, and one of them don't have the VTEC ports on them. What? Okay. So that's the only thing we could think of because we've checked everything, man, and it has oil pressure, it has everything. So we hmm. have sig oh, shit. We have signal from the sensor. We continuity test everything. We bypass stuff. Uh, so it's definitely a mechanical issue and it's, you know, we'll, we'll take it apart and find out. But uh, I made 600 with no VTEC and no VTC. Wow. Right. <laughs> Shoot. Wow. And still in pump gas or is it 85 ready? Okay. It's on flex field though. Okay. So a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Man, look at that fab work though. My guy. Straz Leaper. Well, make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel, Steak and Speed Garage. Yes, He's been uploading, uh, showing the, the work behind this V and then whatever else comes up his way. So thank you, senor. Yes, I appreciate sir. it. I'll see you, bud. Yeah, man. Look at this. So nice. <laughs> He drives that whack ass Civic EF2 though, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Definitely a channel you guys want to check out. Staking speed, man. That guy's been putting in work. He does, you know, he does some crazy crazy work on each video and um, super cool to see him actually document it and do all that stuff so uh, brandon has been super supportive he's been making time for us plenty of times and so you know anything that we can do to help him out any way shape or form we'll continue to do so so thank you guys so much for the love beautiful clean legend right here oem ish i think it's lower a little bit but it looks very nice and i want to show some love to the Del souls still hiding still hiding yeah man that guy's on a mission now it's like nobody he's not gonna move anybody else but the civic <laughs> wow maybe he just wants to get your wheel specs <laughs> beautiful prelude beautiful though so oh my goodness look at that edelbrock manifold man this is beautiful very clean bill so yeah, just, you know, like I said, there's so many cars. I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to show every single car as I am still trying to get some, you know, footage. As you guys can see, one of the videos is gonna be just quiet. I love those videos. So if you guys don't like that, I'm so sorry. Um, and then the other video like this one, I'm just mumbling and mumbling nonstop. And so I like the different, this is the homie Jose. We interview him on his TSX and then the homie Burro, which doesn't want to get interviewed on his wagon, but oh well, <laughs> just kidding. And then this other beautiful, beautiful TSX wagon. I am too, only to assume Mugen everything. And I mean, even the seats, man, this car is magnificent. So very cool to see this man super excited just about you know all the different type of bills that are showing up here it's just fun what is it the sprinter van 
very fun 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 yeah. stuff and uh like i like i mentioned um i love just getting uh getting videos of befores you know when everybody's rolling in i i can be at 300 different places at all time and so i'm gonna be able to get whatever i'm able to get and then after that well we get to enjoy ourselves as well you know and this is what we're here for it's not just to look at cars through a camera the entire time um love the badging on this tsx wagon the one with the core buddy chris beautiful m7s on his pretty much everything mugen coupe um just a delight i was messing with him because um there's a guy that uh keeps hovering here almost like I don't know what their whole parking situation or structure is, but I keep messing with them. Like they want to move, they want to move his Civic. They shouldn't. They should move him to the front of the the show. It's so nice. Getting closer to another very beautiful Time Attack um, car. Uh, I almost say inspired because it looks so clean. I don't even think it take it to the track, but I don't want to assume anything, so I'm just gonna say Time Attack. It is in mint condition, and just. It goes to show you what the potential of these RSXs is um, and people that may not like them just because then you know they're missing out but man love the yellow on this swan neck rear wing just beautiful white wheels uh, very nice mix um, of color it just you know it's gonna work well man love it Advan tires nope a little bit of difference there but yeah, love it. Love the white body on it. And then another beautiful specimen. The whole opposite. A beautiful regular street gro uh, grocery getter car. Some beautiful wheels, SSRs, Speed Star racing wheels. Just clean and simple, you know? Um, I mean, that goes a long way. It's so super cool that they have that contra contrast between both of them. The new, the track, the. Um, older the classic daily drivable cars just beautiful i'm gonna say i don't know why acura stopped making the integra i'm not counting the new one as an integra so yes i don't know why they stopped doing it uh just honda in general i mean they should have done more s2000s um, but um i mean it's just one of those things that they know why they're doing it it may not be the best for business purposes and so if it's not the best for business purposes then you know it's just not gonna happen but anyways Look at this beautiful FK8 on spoon wheels. Wow, just gorgeous. Alrighty, so uh, making a quick stop over to this side. Some of the cars that were parked over here earlier, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's gonna get super, super packed. And the booths, uh, I think they're all done. There's no more booth setups. And so now every other space that's available is gonna be just towards just, you know, anybody who bought their ticket and they're just here to enjoy the show. So um, looking forward to just seeing all the different cars that show up and different conditions. I think that that's what makes it fun. Um, I don't know, I mean, that just, uh, there's a couple meets in Japan that I've always liked where there's a car that, you know, it's not the, in the greatest of shapes. And it's right next to a car that, um, could easily be worth you know two hundred thousand dollars and so i think that that's what i'm looking forward to here so yeah a lot of cool cars already oh work emit wheels very very nice i am to assume he has bags he just not aired out and uh yeah they're starting to already start kind of moving people around so that way they can park appropriately one of the gentlemen that we haven't seen in a while hello senor how are you hello hello uh, his and hers type of you know uh relationship which is super cool that they both get to go to uh events together man look at supercharger he's been working a lot on this car actually um man, i don't know what's been uh, going on with this car but um i'm glad it's running i'm glad he has it here and yeah the car's still looking man putting that for the preludes and then she has her civic in very good condition still I, I haven't seen both of them in a bit so it's, it's been a while since i haven't seen and it's so nice to you know be able to see them here and the cars are running it's beautiful and then um for a minute i, I thought it was the spoons civic so i was like whoa where's this where did this spoon civic come from but uh no it's uh i don't i mean i guess you can say it's a replica right i mean it's so freaking cool um man this is beautiful this is super cool really like what he did 
or she did with that beautiful Civic. Look at this beautiful CRV. Um, we saw this CRV. I saw this CRV at the old school Honda meet in San Diego. If I am not mistaken, if I am mistaken, I do apologize. But um, love the color on it. Nice little distinction with the TEs. I wonder if he's on bags or static. Um, I think it's on bags, yeah, because of the how low the muff flaps are. But I don't know. Um, might be that he just drives static like that. Right hand drive VK4. SIR bumpers, just gorgeous, white and white. I am to sue my TR wheels, super cool. Um, I, you know, I like the fact that there's an S1000, then there's a CRV, then there's this. Oh, there's our buddy from Cactus Composites. Uh, we'll check in with him in a little bit. Saul uh, drives that core wagon. Saul is all the way from Arizona. Um, and he was kind enough to, you know, reach out to me and be like, hey, do you want to meet up to interview me? I was like, hell yeah. Um, I've known that guy for a long time. Um, he's had a course in the past, sedans only. And so I'm so I'm so happy that he was able to make it out to Cali uh, for this event, and then that he made time for me to interview him. And um, man, look at this Integra! Whew, it's just gorgeous. K series. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Love the stance on it. Very beefy, and we know that oil pan it's just a little low, so they can't go that low. But I am to assume that for their purposes, they're okay with it. They probably take it to the track and whatnot. Another beautiful clean Tegra, just very clean. RPF1 wheels, they don't need much. I'm gonna be honest with you, they don't, they don't need much. So there's no reason for, for anybody to want to add too much to it. Just everywhere, left and right, man. Oh, Rudy made it out. Rudy with Red Diva. Haven't seen him in a bit. Hey. So Rudy, how are you, buddy? Good, how are you, man? I'm doing well. Oh. Haven't seen you in a bit, man. Oh, you know, life gets busy and I don't get to attend as many meets as I want anymore. Mm -hmm. The family life, man. So That's busy. good. It's a good life. And you've been working out, huh? Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> looking looking younger than me. Come on, man. You can't do that. This is beautiful, yeah. right? Diva's looking. When I get the new motor set up in here and I get the new look going, we're going to do a recap of the car, man. New motor? Yeah, dude. Did you see the, new, the built motor I have sitting in my garage? I didn't think it was going to go for a Diva. Come on, man. This is already done. <laughs> Buy in a core and put it in that one. Hey, man, 228 horsepower is starting to feel a little slow to me, man. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> Look at that flex. That's good morning. Oh, so Rudy, uh, I guess he's going to be uh, replacing the casers. What's up, fellas? Hey, where's that board at? Uh, I brought my daily. It's oh, just kicking it. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 shots fired. Shots fired. That's funny. I think, did he run out of reverse? I don't think he has reverse. Nothing new, nothing new. Not trying to get, sorry, I'm trying to get out of his way. Cactus composite right here. Homie Saul. What's up, brother? Good morning, good morning. So you check them out on Instagram, Cactus Composite. It does carbon fiber parts for a quartz. So, yeah, man. How was it meet yesterday? It was good? Yeah, it was very good. Yeah? Good turnout. It was cold, a little bit cold. Yeah, little bit cold. Oh, oh man. Hot, hot weather. He just spoiled out in, in, in Tucson. So, you know, he's from the desert. So, I think anything under 80 degrees is cold for him. <laughs> Catch you guys in a little bit. Wagon's looking minty. So, like I said, he made time for us. So, we interview him. That interview will be coming right after these videos. Um, as these ones are obviously much easier to edit than those. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beautiful. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good turnout, man. I mean, it's still really, really early. I'm not even by the entrance trying to catch some of the cars coming in. Um, but when I get a chance, I'll try to get, get, get some. Because I mean, you guys know that I like, I like see, seeing the cars just park, but there's nothing like hearing them kind of move and hear the little exhaust notes rubbing seeing all the, the oil leak from the civics you know just things like normal things you know just normal things <laughs> they were giving me a hard time about my core that the core is the young yard and whatnot and i was like oh man I have no good comeback at the moment man, i've been i've been wanting some of these wheels but they're super hard to find in my specs uh, which is 4x114 i've come across them in 4x100 but i don't want to rock adapters 
and I want them in I believe 16 by 8 plus 35 um, I saw one set a long time ago and I just didn't jump on it and yeah it's one of those things that I need to jump on those especially the 4x114s um, but yeah you live and you learn oh, man this is nice very cool yeah you know like I mentioned before we're definitely spoiled in California just with so many different cool cars you know we see b series civics and it's like okay cool uh, and other people come from out of state and they're like man the way they have their engine base and everything the standards are so high for some of these individuals and yeah it's true you know that's the reason why their cars look the way they look so freaking cool i mean all i'm asking can we get a place that has some shade that's the reason why i don't go to the other meet um that is uh Host in Irwindale, just I just can't do the the hot, you know. When it's too hot all the time, it's just I can't do that, man. Couple local dudes, they're always out in cars and coffee, bring out their cars. Super cool to see everybody putting in a hand to, you know, wipe down the car. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. How you doing? Doing fantastic, brother. Nice to see you. Car looks fantastic. Thank you. As always. And uh, good morning, senor. How are you? Hey, did you see that Accord wagon over there? Yeah, the guys from Arizona. <laughs> My buddy. Yeah, he's all the way from Arizona, so. Man. Is that your favorite one so far, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I figure. You know? You're not the only one. It's different. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, yeah, a couple a couple guys that are, you know, we always see at the Carson Coffee making their appearance. The wagon's already making uh, an, uh, an impact on the meat. I'm telling you, man, core cool wagons is where we're at, and I really, really want one. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just a fun time, man. People, I, you know, one of the things that I really enjoy is the fact that people have already associated me with Accords. So talking smack and Accords, it's my uh, go-to. And uh, we have a gentleman here who's just, you know, I'm just, I hey, keep doing your thing, brother. Keep doing your thing. We interviewed him a while back. Of course, uh, he mentioned in that interview, I'm not gonna go too crazy because, you know, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Look at this, look at these men. Look at that meat. Yeah, my boy kind of took all that back and the, the whole interview was about what are, what are your future plans. This guy pretty much said what I'm not going to be doing is <laughs> and then went and did the opposite, right? So, hey, car looks amazing, man. Love those wheels. It's just keep at it, man. And it's running smooth? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's that's all you can ask for. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you a little bit. Right, sure. Beautiful S right here. So they're already kind of setting up their tent. And um, before I go, let me take a nice picture of this, our buddy's wagon. So we'll so continue with the coverage.